Hello and welcome to Game Boy Classics. In this installment, the game is Alleyway, which was a launch title released for the Game Boy in 1989, developed by Nintendo R&D 1. This is a simple breakout clone um, done by Nintendo, and it fit the Game Boy to a T. This was a very simplistic game, but, you know, it's... When the Game Boy was brand new, this was the game to play. And I have many fond memories of playing this game for, I don't know, hours and hours when I was a kid. You know, it's very simple, but, you know, often simplicity is um, the best kind of games on a portable handheld. And, you know, even now, after all these years, going back to playing this... Yeah, it's kind of simple, and I wish it was a little bit less basic than it is, but, man, I can still play this game for quite some time. So, with all that said, let's play some of this. Because this Nintendo, of course, Mario is the one who is in the paddle, making it a tie-in with Super Mario Brothers, of course, because Mario was not everything back in the day. If you lose the ball, it explodes. So, I don't know. The game this basic, you gotta kind of make up your own storyline. So maybe the ball is like an atomic weapon or something. So if you don't uh, save the ball, then it's nuclear holocaust. It's also interesting to note that this game has no music, um, or basically no music at all. No, most of the music in the game is just the, uh, the title screen music and a few odds and ends. The rest of the audio is just sound effects of when the ball makes contact with an object. It's somewhat hard to do, but uh, if you can get the ball to fling to the top of the screen, you always get that interesting pinging sound. You know, it was always a goal when you were a kid, and even now. <laughs> oh. Now, like I said, this is a very basic um, breakout clone, so there's no power-ups or anything like that. You don't get lasers that shoot out of the, your, uh, your paddle, or you don't get multi-balls or anything like that. This is very, very basic. High contrast to make it very easily vi visible on the original non-backlit Game Boy screen. And yeah, it might look a little bit boring, but again, it's, uh, it's all about the simplicity of the gameplay. And you gotta keep in mind, this was a launch title for the system, so, you know, the Game Boy would go on to have some pretty impressive visuals in a lot of different games. But this game, not so much, because it doesn't really need it. You know, I'm not actually sure if there's an end screen in this game, or if, like, the game has some sort of conclusion, because I've never really played it for that long. You know, most of the time you just end up dying and uh, then you turn the system off or you start again. It was really annoying in this first stage, This the one final block is the game won't proceed until you clear it. Alright, stage two is the same thing, but now the blocks will scroll horizontally. It might seem like there's two different rows, but actually it's the same row just scrolling. So, it wasn't totally incredibly basic. Nintendo did come up with some interesting ideas for, like this. Uh oh, nuclear winter. Let's go again. Oh, 
Also, I probably wouldn't have noticed this as a kid, but uh, it seems like the ball physics change depending on the angle that the, uh, that the ball hits at. So sometimes the ball might speed up, um, depending on, I don't know, its, it's target, I guess? Believe it or not, this was a game that I was very excited to play on the Super Game Boy when that was released in 1994. Um, I was I got that early, <laughs> Nuclear Holocaust again. I got that game early, and, or I got that uh, accessory early because I was a big uh, fan of the original Game Boy. So I was like, ooh, play, finally play my Game Boy games on the TV, how exciting, and in color, how about that? I wonder what Alleyway looks like in color. Seriously, that was like one of my first thoughts, Alleyway. <laughs> Two blocks left. There we go. All right, stage three. Again, looks very similar to stages one and two. Except now, there is another gimmick that's introduced. And that simple gimmick is that the blocks will come down after every so often. giving you less time to react to uh, situations and more likely that you're going to lose your ball and thus cause a nuclear explosion. Eventually, this gets, you know, more and more complicated to points where the uh, levels will introduce new blocks um, until you've cleared the old ones, and then the new blocks will be replacing those old ones, and you have to clear those ones as well. Early on, they'll let, simply let you get away with it. So how about this bonus level? Who's that Pokemon? failed to completely obliterate Mario.
because of the lack of music, this is the type of game that I used to play when I was a kid, um, just with, you know, the Game Boy um, speaker entirely muted um, and no audio at all. Or it hit the ceiling, so the uh, paddle sh actually shrunk that time. Oh, it happened again. Mario's like, fuck this, get it out of here. Alright, so that's a look at Alleyway. If you have any questions about this game, feel free to drop them in the comment section down below, and once again, I'll see you guys next time. So thanks for watching. Thank you.